what's considered jazz now is uh, popular jazz anyway. It's not uh, wouldn't wouldn't even be considered jazz, say twenty thirty years ago. What they call um, smooth jazz, basically, mm -hmm. is is the more popular form, and that's more ex accepted. That's pretty much the money maker now. Yeah, your 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 traditional jazz is pretty much dying. Uh, or I should say the, the older audience is dying off. Well, sort of like jazz when it came out, it also influenced um, certain classical music composers mm -hmm. like Stravinsky and, and Debussy and Gershwin. Right. Um, but it was, it was like a, a dance music and again, being sort of part of the counterculture, it was from the people, right. like the people made it. Like you say, it, it originally was dance music and as time changed, the music became more cere cerebral. I think that kind of lost some of the audience too. It was too complex for people to just sit and enjoy, or dance for that matter. So what would you say is like the biggest difference between like jazz and blues? When I think of jazz, I think of it more like a language. Uh, it's, it's, it's a way of speaking. Like when people use the word like blues to describe a type of music, it's not as complex in structure as, as jazz, like I said. For instance, you would, you'd use um, a triad or a chord that consists of three, three notes. Mm -hmm. The root, the third, and the fifth, if you want to think of it in terms of structure, stacking, how, the, how it stacks on top of each other. And then you have major or minor, which also evokes a certain mood. When you play jazz, you would use like your more extended chords, like you have the root, third, and fifth, and then you could have like the seventh, the ninth, the eleventh, and the thirteenth. Mm -hmm. and it just keeps stacking. A simple chord now becomes a big complex. Yeah, uh, yeah. You know, you could, it's like stretching a word into a paragraph. <laughs> well, it's sort of like uh, painters like Pablo Picasso took, um, like the, in, the influence of jazz uh, as sort of their, their inspiration for the movement. Right. So they didn't just draw the form or the silhouette, no. it's like they broke right. it all into pieces right. and they extra. played, it's like played variations of right. it exactly. all around to make, to make an experience really. Yeah, but variation is one thing. When you, when you extend it, uh, you, you, you turn, you, you, all of a sudden you, oh, you've opened it up, you've exposed it uh, in, a, in a different way. Jazz is almost like a process then, I suppose. Uh, yeah, it's a process in terms of, uh, there are certain there are certain tools that are there. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like uh, like you said, it's like a painter. You have you, you have basic colors, but what do you what do you do with those colors? What happens when you start combining yeah. the basic colors to create other colors? That's how I think of jazz. You know? The music becomes as much your piece as the composers. Hmm because it's your interpretation. It's like a group painting, let's put it that way, if, the, if a, a combo is playing. So you never quite know what's gonna, how it's gonna end up. Yeah, so it's a different painting every it's time. It's a different painting every time, <laughs> right.